Don't tell me it's just hair. No, tell me this is normal. You're losing a lot of hair. You are balding right now, but your hair is gonna grow back. As long as you take care of it, don't stress. So let's talk about postpartum shedding. It is a pain, it's an absolute pain. But the one thing that I want you to take away from this video is that you are going to get through it. I kid you not, I remember specifically sitting down with Nicholas, my fiance, and telling him, this is just how it's gonna be now. Well, I remember distinctly two conversations. The first of which was, I probably need to get to a doctor because this is a health condition that I have to have checked out because this isn't normal. It's normal. The second conversation I remember having is, this is just how it's gonna be now. I'm gonna have thin edges. My hair is going to just shed like crazy. Even the slightest touch, I'm gonna to lose like bundles of, well, not bundles. I'm gonna lose a lot of hair. I'm gonna just be balding forever. My hair's not gonna grow back and I'm not gonna get through it. You are going to get through it. That is why I wanted to put this out there. Upon doing my research, well first let me back up. I had always been under the assumption that postpartum shedding was just right after you have the baby, like the built up hair. We all know that you have your best glowing skin and your healthiest hair. Your hair is going to grow and thrive when you're pregnant. So I was under the assumption that, okay, your hair isn't shedding while you're pregnant, but then once you have the baby, that hair is going to come out. Um, so I thought it would happen immediately, not even realizing um, that it takes a few months. So when it did happen, postpartum shedding was not even a thought to me. I thought it was something that I was doing wrong. I thought I was using the wrong products, that I wasn't caring for my hair properly, which I probably wasn't because I had a newborn and Genesis because that's my life now. Um, so I put all of the blame on myself. I thought I was doing something wrong. I felt out of control. I felt um, embarrassed. Why is my hair falling out? Why am I balding in my temple area? Um, why am I losing all of this hair? Unbalanced and just out of control, you know? This, this was happening to me and I didn't understand why. I already had so many other stresses as far as adjusting to being a new mom of two, you know, dealing with my, my daughter who just turned three, dealing with my newborn son who's now eight months, um, adjusting to that in addition to understanding or not understanding, I should say, why my hair is just, it just completely, my hair was like, you know what, I'm done. I'm done with you. That's what my hair said to me. And I didn't understand why. I felt so betrayed. Like. The, the entire nine months during my pregnancy, we had an awesome relationship, my hair and I. I mean, I was like, yes, fleek, yes, what, love you, thank you, love you too. And then, a few months after having my son, my hair was like, this isn't working for me, I'm throwing in the towel, um, it's been real, and bye. And that's, that's what was so hurtful to me, because it's like, but I was doing so well, like, I, I feel like, I had put everything into our relationship and then it just completely exploded in my face and it backfired. And I know that's a very dramatic way to, to explain to you how I felt about my hair and about losing my hair, but like, I'm already not getting enough sleep. I don't want to have to worry about why I don't have edges. That's how I felt. That's how I felt throughout my entire postpartum shedding episode. It's like, okay, we're supposed to be on the same team, okay, but I didn't even get all of the sleep that I needed to get, or I'm barely functioning right now, and now you're telling me that you're leaving, like you're abandoning me? I didn't understand it, so that was really dramatic. It was just a very emotional, helpless feeling. Not so much that, okay, people are going to tell you, it's so cliche, but it's just hair, it grows back, which is true. But I'm not going to sit here, I can't even lie and say that my hair or my physical appearance is not a part of my confidence, you know? If I don't look my best, I'm not going to feel my best. That may sound, I don't think it sounds shallow. I think it's human and it's realistic, but 
I lost a huge part of my self-confidence. You know, I'd wear head wraps. I wanted to hide my hair. I started styling my hair this way in a wash and go, which come to find out I love now, but I started styling my hair forward. I would just hide my hair um, to where I didn't want to deal with it, but it was a very embarrassing feeling. And I think that I was more so um, ashamed because I felt like I had lost control. Not necessarily that my hair was falling, well, yes, because my hair was falling out and I was freaking out, but also because I felt out of control. This was happening to me and I didn't know why. I didn't know how to deal with it and it was happening at such a rapid speed. It was evident. I had a clear line of demarcation as to um, where my thin edges were and then like my hairline started. So for me, it was just, it was a big deal. You know, as cliche as it sounds, yes, it's just hair, but to me, it was a big deal. It was more so um, a hit to my confidence, a hit to caring for myself and, and the way that I viewed myself and the way that I feared other people seeing me as well. Like, doesn't she talk about hair? Isn't that her thing? Or, or not even, just people who don't know me, like why her edges so thin? Why does she look a hot mess? You know, like, I looked a mess and I felt a mess and it and it showed but like I said I got through it you're gonna get through it as well the first thing I want to tell you is don't panic that sounds crazy hypocritical I panicked as soon as it happened to me I absolutely panicked I hacked off all of my hair um, and then had a meltdown right afterwards because I'm like oh wow what did I just do I was finally getting some hang time. I was enjoying my growth, you know, like I said, during my pregnancy, my hair was thriving. And now I'm in this position to where my hair is coming out like crazy. Um, no protein treatment is gonna save this. Um, I need an immediate fix. I'm just gonna hack it. And then as soon as I hacked it, I regretted it and I felt ugly <laughs> and <laughs> I just had a meltdown. Granted, as long as there aren't any other underlying health problems that you are concerned about. Postpartum shedding is absolutely normal. Don't panic. Now, the one thing that I do want to warn you about, because I didn't realize this until I started doing my research when I was in it, <laughs> is that um, it doesn't happen immediately. You're not going to have the baby and then right away your hair is going to start shedding or thinning. It's normal for it to occur um, around the third month postpartum. And that's absolutely when I saw the difference. I mean, my son hit three months old and I'm like, wait a minute, what's going on with my hair? I didn't put two and two together until after I hacked my hair off, of course, and I started doing my re research. I completely wish that I had talked to more people or just kind of, I wish I, I, I knew what to expect. I wish that I were prepared for that because I definitely would not have cut my hair off. I would have just taken the proper measures, taken a step back, chilled a little bit, and then assessed. But whatever, it's gone, it's done. But I wanna put that out there to you. I want you to just realize that it's totally normal. Don't panic. Yes, it's stressful. Yes, it's a nuisance. Yes, it's inconvenient. It's a pain, it's embarrassing, all of the above, but it's normal. So just keep that in mind. This too shall pass. It's not going to last forever. Research has shown that it's going to last about three to four months. In my experience, my son is eight months old now. I feel like I'm blinking a lot, so I'm sorry. My son is eight months old now, and I feel like I've kind of had it um, underway for about a month. So it, la it started at three months, lasted to about seven to currently, well, currently I'm um, exiting that phase so I would say a good three to four months for myself as well but it's not going to happen right after you have the baby and it's not going to last for a few days or a few weeks so those are the assumptions that I had and I just want to let you know that <laughs> that's not how it happens equally important is just for you to take care of your hair and then leave it alone so you want to continue to care for your hair as far as washing, deep conditioning, moisturizing, styling it, and then that's it. You want to make sure that you are continuing to do low maintenance hairstyles. Don't over manipulate your hair. I cannot stress that enough. Right now it's super vulnerable. It's super weak. It's fragile. You, I, okay. Guilty as charged. I would legit like try 
<laughs> I would try the castor oil rubs. I, was, I wasn't consistent with it just because I have so much going on as far as my kids and things that I have to take care of. But I mean, I tried it a few times and then the next day I'd go in the mirror and be like, okay, what, am, what do my edges look like? Okay, okay, wait. No, do not over manipulate your hair. Put it in the back of your mind. First of all, you have a new baby to love on and to take care of. So you're already busy. Do what you have to do. Don't neglect your hair, but style it, moisturize it, wrap it up. I mean, twist it up, braid it up. If you want to do a wash and go, fine. Don't manipulate it every do day. Don't be in your hair. Try not to worry about it. And like I said, I know that's so much easier said than done because I fell victim to it. And I was absolutely the one that was in the mirror every single day looking at my edges and then crying. Um, and then wondering when they're going to come back and then crying. Don't worry about it. Just do what you got to do. Continue taking care of your hair, washing, conditioning, deep conditioning, moisturizing, let it go. As long as you are doing the right thing externally and internally, you want to keep taking your prenatal vitamins, you want to make sure you're drinking your water, you're being active, whatever, all that stuff we already know. Continue what you are doing as far as following your awesome hair regimen and I promise you, your hair is going to grow back. Your edges are going to come back. I kid you not. I thought I was going to be balding forever and I can't stress this enough if I can get through it you can get through it too so that's the second thing I want you to keep in mind do not over manipulate your hair take care of it wash it style it and leave it alone until it's time to do that again okay you guys are gonna not like me for this one because it's so cliche but time we always say time heals all wounds and postpartum shedding is no exception and I know, I know. When I was doing my research, I hated when people were like, it's only temporary, it's gonna pass, just allow time, 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 time. We're human, we want a quick fix, especially when it's something physical. Like people were looking at my edges, well in, in my head, I, people aren't worried about me people got things going on you know what I mean like but in my head I'm paranoid and I'm like oh my god people are looking at my edges and I was just so embarrassed and not only for how people were viewing me but just how I viewed myself like I said like it, it took a big hit to my self-confidence just because I felt ugly and time is going to be your best friend time is going to be the medicine that we need and like I said you just want to make sure that you're still doing the things that you have been doing all along as far as taking care of yourself taking care of your hair but you have to allow time I wish there were a quick fix I wish there was some magic pill I wish I could tell you that doing castor oil rubs every night is going to magically grow your hair in a few weeks I can't attest to that I wasn't consistent trust me I tried I went out and I bought products that had Jamaican black castor oil. I read, read up on all of the DIY and natural hair growth remedies. I wanted so hard to follow these things to a T to make my hair grow back quickly. I wanted to, but it wasn't, it's not realistic for me. I have too many things to do and it's, it's so time consuming. And at the end of the day, it just adds to what I'm telling you not to do. Don't over manipulate your hair. Don't think too much about it. Just do what you have already been doing. Um, so like I said, you don't want to neglect your hair. You still want to invest time into it, but you don't want to, this cannot be the focal point of your life. And it was legitimately like the focal point of my life. It was like my kids and get my edges back. My kids and why is my hair shedding? I gotta try A through Z to get my edges back and to stop my hair from thinning and falling out and to get my hair growth back on track. No, time is the best medicine. I kid you not. And like I said, I don't want to be the enemy right now. I, I just want to give it to you real. It started for me at three months and my son is eight months old now and I'm just now getting to a good space as far as my edges are back. Well, it looks like I big chopped my edges, no lie, like they're so little, but they're back and I'm happy about that. I don't have the, the thinning in, the, in my temples anymore, but I kid you not, it lasted a good 
three to four. No, that's not three to four. If it started at three months and my son is now eight months, that's closer to four to five months, guys. So I know. I wish that I had we're human. We want a quick fix. That's what it all boils down to. But there's no quick fix. Um, but the good news is, like I said, like I've been saying, it's temporary. You're going to get through it. I promise you. This is going to be a blip in the, on the radar in no time for you. Hopefully this inspired or helped someone. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know how you're doing on your hair journey. If you have any tips in regards to keeping your hair healthy, what you're doing postpartum as far as your hair regimen, if you have any awesome tips or tricks, um, how to do my hair in like two minutes. <laughs> if you have anything that you have relevant to this topic, comment down below. I would love to talk to you guys. I would love to hear your feedback. And I know other moms could benefit from this too. I wish material like this was out before I knew what I was going through just so I knew what to expect. Um, but that's just me. If you take anything away from this video, I hope you take away the importance of not panicking because postpartum shedding is normal. The thinning, the shedding, it's normal. As long as, listen, you know your hair, you know your body more than anything. If you get even an inkling that something is not normal, I'm not a healthcare professional. So make sure that you do talk to a healthcare professional um, and hopefully there won't be any underlying health issue that they will reassure you, hey, this is normal and they'll give you some guidelines as far as what to expect. But postpartum shedding is normal, so don't panic. Um, caring for your hair, not over manipulating it, not neglecting it, but just keeping your hair healthy and happy and then leaving it. Because after time, it's going to grow back. It's going to come back and things are going to be great. Okay. So that was all, mamas. Um, don't even stress about it today. I want you to just wash and deep condition your hair, throw on a head wrap, and just take it easy. Like, just chill. Put your feet up because you've done enough. You're already busting your ass, taking care of your baby. You're already doing a bomb job. Go give your baby hugs and kisses. Congratulations. Don't even worry about your hair today. It's going to grow back, and you're going to be fine. You will get through it because I got through it. And that's, that's all there is to it. Like, it's not an option. You're going to get through it. Your hair is going to come back. I wish someone told me that before I hacked my hair off. I wish someone told me that three or four months ago. Like, Jen, just chill. Put your feet up. Your hair is going to grow back. Don't worry. Don't tell me it's just hair. No, tell me this is normal. You're losing a lot of hair. You are balding right now but your hair is going to grow back as long as you take care of it don't stress that's what i want to hear don't tell me it's just hair grows back no tell me that this is normal and your hair will grow back so that's what i'm telling you <laughs> that's like so complicated um i love you guys and i hope you have a beautiful day Bye.